Yo, this is the Jewel of the Day, your boy Gold Rush Productions. Today we're going to be talking about the three things that you need to start off with if you're just getting started as an artist. Alright, so the first thing I would do is sign up and become a member with BMI ASCAP. I've personally been with BMI for over 15 years. It's completely free. You just become a member. If you're an artist, then you're going to sign up as a songwriter. If you want to be a publisher, me personally, I'm a songwriter and a publisher. I have my own publishing company. If you're a label or a producer or artist that wants to put other artists underneath them, then you're going to want to open up your own publishing as well as becoming a songwriter. Um, this right here, with being with BMI ASCAP, that's going to allow you, these are the people who collect your checks and send you your money. So if you're not signed, if you're not a member with one of these people, you're not going to be able to get your money. So that's the first thing. Become a member with BMI ASCAP or a company that's like that. Second, I will become a member with a distribution company. There's a lot of them. You got CD Baby, you got New Wave Distro, you got Distro Kid. The list goes on. So just pick your... Pick your favorite. Me personally, I started off dealing with CD Baby. Um, I like CD Baby because they make sure they collect all your money, like everywhere. That's if you go pro. Usually when you're going pro, I think it's like $40 a single or like $140 an album. Yeah, you're paying a little extra money, but they're going to make sure that they play as a, a publisher on your behalf. And they're going to collect your money all around the world. Um, they also take 15%, but most of them do. Now, with New Wave Distro, I've been dealing with New Wave Distro recently because, one, they don't have no fees. You don't have to pay up front. You don't have to pay to be a member. They do take 15% as well, but unlike CD Baby, they're not charging you up front. The only difference between CD Baby and New Wave Distro is, though, is that CD Baby... When you go pro, they're going to uh, uh, they're going to make it to where they're going to send checks out to individual people. So you're not going to be responsible for that. If you go with New Wave Distro, then all of the money comes to the account holder, meaning the producer's money, the featured artist. That money is going to come to you, and you're going to be responsible in dispersing that money accordingly. What I do like about New Wave Distro is they actually have packages, promotional packages that you could pay for. They got TikTok packages. They got playlist pitching for Spotify packages. They got um, bio packages where they'll make you a bio. They have blog packages where they'll make you blogs. So yeah, check them out. Those are the two that I normally deal with. Third, you want to make sure that you have a business page on Facebook. That'll be your artist page with a credit card attached to it. And then you want to make sure that your Instagram is attached to that business Facebook. And obviously your Instagram will have to be a business page as well. If you have it as a personal page right now, you can easily change that to a business page. And this will allow you to create Facebook ads through Facebook Ads Manager, which I suggest doing when you're creating your ads. It just allows you to get very detailed down to your audience, to their interests, to the demographics, to everything. Um, this will also allow you to boost your posts on Instagram, to build your Instagram. These are the first three things that I would do if I'm just starting off as an artist. That way you're already set up and you're ready to go once your music is ready. Boom, you got your PRO ready to go. You can register your music when you make it. Two, you'll have your distribution company so you can go ahead and start distributing your music and getting it out there on all platforms. And three, once your music is available, you'll have Facebook and Instagram to go ahead and pay for marketing and advertising and get your music out there so people can know that it exists. Alright, so this is the jewel of the day. The three things that you need to start off with if you're just getting started as an artist. Paint the city, go, stay blessed.